Welcome to Wealth Up, a channel about personal finance and building wealth. We are halfway through the year, and it's not going the way most of us expected. The situation in Ukraine has had a significant impact, of course, on its people, but also on the global economy. We are so intertwined as a global economy that the unrest is impacting us all. In the U.S., we are also experiencing high levels of inflation. Gas prices continue to increase, and the market continues to decline. Tech has been heavily impacted, and crypto is also seeing a big loss. The market sentiment is low, and there are a lot of concerns about a recession. In this video, I will share my net worth for the middle of the year and compare it to the beginning of 2022. I will share my net worth with real numbers and also share how I calculate it to capture my financial health. Net worth is the difference between the value of your assets and your liabilities. Assets are anything you own of value. House, cars, jewelry, investments, and cash. And liabilities or debts are any money that you owe. This includes your mortgage, any car loans, student loans, and credit card debt. If you're making a monthly payment anywhere, this should be included here. What I recommend is to make a simple spreadsheet in Excel or Google Sheets and keep track of them all. Once you have a template made, it's easy to go in and update it regularly. As a caveat, it's important to say that your net worth does not define you, but it can be used to see how you're making progress over time. The number itself is not very telling. It is more useful to have the number in context and to track it over time. You want your net worth to be growing or becoming less negative if that is your situation. It is also important to not compare your number to my numbers or anyone else's numbers. You should be comparing it to your previous numbers and your targets. Everyone is at a different stage in life, has different priorities, and started from a different place, making it unfair to compare the value itself. Now let's jump into my net worth. My assets include my house and a rental property, which I combine into a real estate bucket, my car, investments, and cash. Let's see what these look like for June of 2022. The value of my real estate is $498,700. The value of my car is $16,000. My investments total $236,100. And I have $54,500 in cash. Adding all of these up brings the value of my assets to $805,300. Let's take a moment to review how this compares to the beginning of the year. These are the values for January 1st, 2022. Real estate was $470,000. The value of my real estate has gone up from the beginning of the year. This is because real estate continued to go up for the first few months, but has most recently slowed down. And some speculate that with the increase in interest rates, property values are likely to decrease later in the year. The value of my car has decreased slightly compared to January. The value of my investments has increased compared to January 1st, 2022. Some may think that this means that I have not lost money. However, this is not true. My return in the market is negative 22%. The reason it is higher than it was in January is because I continued to invest during this time. As the market continues to go down, I continue to buy in based on my investment plans that I made at the beginning of the year. And I have been able to buy at a discount. My plan as the year progresses will be to continue to invest and I don't plan to change anything. In fact, I am looking for opportunities to save money so that I can invest more than planned. This is not financial advice. This is just what I am doing, a random person on the internet. Please do your own research. My cash savings is slightly up. All of these factors combined has brought up the value of my assets compared to January. Looking at where I am compared to the beginning of the year, it doesn't look so bad. This helps to put things into perspective. In the days where the market takes a big hit, it is important to think long term and consider the big picture. 
things aren't always as bad as they may seem. Now on to my debts. For me, my debts include my mortgage, again, the mortgage on my house and the rental property, and student loans. If you have any credit card debt or any other debts, this is where you would include them. For June 2022, my mortgage is total $334,600. Student loans are $12,000. Adding both of these up brings my total debts to $346,600. Comparing these to January 1st of 2022, you can see that the only value that has changed are my mortgages. That's because I've been paying them off every month. My student loans, like for many people, continues to be in forbearance. And I've been taking advantage of this break and am investing that payment into the market. As a result of paying my mortgage off, my debts have decreased by $11,400 since the beginning of the year. Now let's calculate my net worth for the first half of 2022. In order to do this calculation, I need to subtract the difference between my assets, which is $805,300, and subtract my liabilities, which are $346,600. This brings my net worth to $458,700. To help put this into perspective, let's see how this has changed throughout the year. As you can see from the figure, my net worth has gone up and peaked in April to over $500,000, but has come down significantly, again, all for market fluctuations. The volatility in the market is really playing a role into the changes you see month to month. Are we at the bottom yet? Only time will tell. My plan continues to be to invest. Are you tracking your net worth? How did it go this month? No matter where you are on your journey, stay on track, follow your financial plan, and stay motivated. As always, thank you for watching until the end. Remember to hit the like button if you have enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you want to see regular content, you could add me on Instagram at wealth underscore up. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.